What is the difference between Manuka honey and Kanuka honey? Same thing, different names. For those unaware of what they are, Manuka and Kanuka are names of honey. They are different types of honey. With the advancement in research, innovation and technology, the existence of these two types of honey was brought into the eyes of the world as they had tremendous advantages. Manuka honey comes from New Zealand and so does Kanuka honey. They are commonly referred to as the honeys of New Zealand. Manuka honey can have a number of benefits if taken orally, such as combating pathogens in the gastrointestinal tract, curing ulcers and diarrhea and even pain. Kanuka honey has been found to have a positive effect on the infections and conditions found in the skin, including acne and eczema which can be very hard to get rid of and keep recurring. Here are a couple of points that differentiate between the basic and therapeutic properties of Manuka and Kanuka honey. 1. Origin Talking about the plants from which they are derived, Manuka honey is derived from Manuka, scientific name, Leptospermum scoparium, can be in the form of trees or shrubs. These trees can be found in the Stewart Island, which is the third largest island in New Zealand. It is found 1,800 meters above sea level. The habitats include rich gravels, wetlands as well as dry hillsides. It gets very tolerant once mature and can survive less fertile areas, strong winds, water logging and droughts. It is also found in southeastern Australia. Conica honey is derived from Conica scientific name, Conzericoids is found along the north and south islands of New Zealand along the forest margins of the Three Kings Islands to Dunedin and Otago. It also occurs in South Australia, in New South Wales, Victoria, and Queensland. It can be found as a shrub or a tree. It can be found from the sea level going up to 1,800 meters. It is found growing near the heat systems that provide heat to the ground. It has good tolerance levels for various conditions like drought and frost however fails to grow in waterlogged areas. 2. Derivation Manuka honey is derived from the pollen of the flowers of Leptospermum scoparium. The bees used for this purpose are called European honeybees, scientific name, Apis mellifera, which are introduced into the areas where the Manuka plants flower. Conica honey is derived from the flower pollen of Conzericoids. The bees native to the area where the Conica trees flower help in extracting the nectar and producing the honey, 3. Active Ingredients In this section, we will get into what exactly makes the Manuka and Kanuka honeys capable of doing what they are famous for, Manuka honey. Manuka honey has many antibacterial properties as compared to the normal honey. The UMF is a unique Manuka factor, is a measure of the antibacterial activities that remain in the honey, stable, even after the normal antibacterial properties are destroyed. The UMF may vary in every jar found. It is usually on the label of the jar. If the UMF is not mentioned, it implies that the honey in that jar has not been tested. The UMF of 10 and above is said to be potent. Methyl glyoxyl is one of the key ingredients of Manuka honey that gives it the antibacterial property. It belongs to the group of dicarbonyl compounds. These compounds are a group of toxic compounds. A study was conducted to check the effectivity of methyl glyoxyl against E. coli and S. aureus bacteria. An antibacterial activity was observed. Polyphenols are substances present in Manuka honey that give it antioxidant properties. Conica honey, these are the proteins present in the cell wall of the plants. They are involved in many processes of the cell including cell division and cell death. A study was conducted to check the stimulation of the immune system due to Conica honey. Tests concluded that the honey had a compound that could stimulate the cells of the immune system to release cytokines from cells of the immune system called macrophages. The cytokines are proteins that contribute to wound healing and repair, or inflammation, indicative of an infection. The compound identified was an arabinogalactin protein, type 2. These compounds come into the honey as they are also present in the nectar of the conica flowers. Conica honey has a compound called hydrogen peroxide that gives it an antimicrobial activity. This happens because of the oxidation power of hydrogen peroxide. It is able to destroy the DNA of the bacteria present. 4. Therapeutic activity of hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide activity is present in both but works differently. Manuka honey has a major active component called methyl glyoxyl that imparts antibacterial activity to the honey. Due to the presence of methyl glyoxyl in large amounts in Manuka honey, it was proven in a study, that the production of hydrogen peroxide was suppressed. 
This occurs due to the cross-linking of methyl glyoxyl with an enzyme called glucose oxidase which helps in the formation of hydrogen peroxide by oxidation of glucose. However, it has been seen that the major antibacterial activity of Konica honey has been due to hydrogen peroxide. This happens because methyl glyoxyl is not present in a very big amount in this honey. A study was conducted which proved that hydrogen peroxide activity in conical honey could completely help in getting rid of bacteria such as E. coli and S. aureus. With all the studies and investigations in mind, we can figure out the usage of manuka and conical honey. Where manuka honey can be used in cases such as irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, and inflammatory bowel disease, such as ulcerative colitis, in order to reduce pain, ulcers and diarrhea, conical honey can be used topically for the treatment of various skin conditions like eczema, acne and cold sores. Both the honeys have uses of their own and one does not seem to overpower the efficacy of the other.